Hello, this is Matt Sherwood. I'm a technology teacher for junior high students, and I'm going to talk about how to import pictures into a paint.net project. Now, paint.net is a free program that can be downloaded on the internet. It's kind of a beginning version of uh, Photoshop and allows uh, people to learn how to um, manipulate images. Okay, I'm going to start out by importing my pictures and putting them all into separate layers over here in the Layers window. So I'm going to go to the Layers menu, click on it, and choose Import from File. Now what I want to do is find the location of my pictures, and I'm going to do several different ones. So I'm going to hold the Control button on the keyboard down while I select sort of random pictures here. And I'm going to open them. And you notice when they open, they all open up into their own separate layers. Now there's several things I want to do. One of them is I want to take the layer that I'm going to use as the background and move that all the way to the bottom of the list of layers. So I'm going to click down, down, and you can see that the layer I'm going to use for the background is moving to the bottom of the list. I'm also going to take out this white background picture. I don't need it, so I'm going to click on the X here, and it'll remove it. Then I'm going to arrange my other layers as I want them. And I'm going to uncheck them now according to what I need and don't need. And so right now, actually, the only one I want to be looking at is this flower. Now, I'm going to zoom in on this flower here. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on the magnifying glass at the top of the page. You can back off a little bit to 400%. And I got dogs and kids walking around here, so hence the noises. All right, so I'm going to choose my tool here now. I'm going to choose this one. It looks like a matchstick, but it's actually called the magic wand tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the area that I want to delete. And you notice that the area, the white area, has been selected, and it's kind of glowing here. Now, there's a problem here because some of this selected area comes onto the flower, which I don't want to delete. So this is where I'm going to adjust the tolerance, and I'm going to click on the new tolerance, and then I'm going to re-click on the area I want to delete. That's quite a bit better. I'm going to see if I can get it a little better. Okay, pretty good. Now I'm going to click Delete on the keyboard. And you can see everything turned checkerboard. That doesn't mean that I'm going to have a checkerboard picture. It means that uh, that's now transparent. And since that was such a clean background, there's really not much need to do any cleanup on this. Uh, I could, but I'm going to not worry about it because it's fairly small and insignificant down there in the corner. Now, I'm going to remove the background from another picture. I'm going to choose this picture of this rose and I'm going to uncheck the flower, the blue violet. I'm going to go find that rose now. I probably need to reduce the percent that I'm viewing. There we go. Um, now this is going to have a couple different steps in order to re remove the background. So I'm going to click the magic wand in the black area and you can see that that's a pretty solid black area so there's not much trouble removing that cleanly. Uh, what you have left, though, is some multi-shaded sections of flower. And so what I'll need to do is I'll need to just repeatedly click over and over in that section. And my goal is really to eliminate the sections um, right next to the flower that I want to erase. Okay. And I've gotten about as far as I can go. So now I'm going to switch tools. You notice there's this tool called the Eraser tool. I'm going to click on that. And then another important step is I have to adjust the size of the Eraser tool. So I'm going to roll this up to about, well, I don't know, 75. That's about the right size. Now I can drag this over the rest of these pixels. They're actually called noise in photography because they're kind of in the way noisy. Okay, so I'm going to keep clicking. 
And as I go around, it'll start to clean up the shape of the flower and it'll kind of isolate the rose petals from the rest of the plant. And once that's nice and clean, then I can quickly erase the rest of these, rest of this noise, rest of these pixels from the project. Now you can see that I have two separate layers. And what I'm going to do is continue doing that same process with the rest of these layers. So I'm also going to do it with the layer with the girl on it here, and also with the layer with this other flower right there. And now that I'm done removing the layers, you can see that the girl has no background, the flowers have no background either. And I've left the background into my original background picture because I don't want it to be transparent. I'm going to explain this more in step two regarding organizing and manipulating your layers to do what they want.